Hey guys, it's Laura and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my August favourites. These are just some products and some items that I've been loving throughout August. If you guys want to see what I've been loving then please stick around and continue watching this video. I just wanted to quickly say before I start this video that I'm not being paid by any of the mentioned companies to say anything about their products, that this video is not sponsored. I would let you guys know if it was sponsored. So I'm going to start off with the favourite beauty products that I've been loving this month. And the first thing that I've been loving is the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. I bought this on a whim at the end of July. Didn't know if I was going to like it or not, um, but I absolutely love it. It makes my lips so soft and it actually tastes really good. And I would definitely repurchase this and it cost me $10 from Lush and definitely recommend it, especially if you've got dry lips. So the next two things that I've been loving is from Australis and the first one is the Australis Contour Kit. A lot of people said that they didn't like it because it came out really muddy but I found that the less product you use the better it looks if you put on too much product then it makes it look really muddy um, I got this from Priceline on sale for about $16 and the second Australis product that I've been loving is the Bronze Eyed Girl eyeshadow palette and I've absolutely been loving this I love the colors in it and they're very, very pigmented and they blend very well. I got this from Kmart for, I think about $10. So I would definitely repurchase both of these products because I've absolutely fallen in love. The next product that I've been loving is the Fifth Avenue Lip Gloss Stick. Um, it's got amazing colour, it's smooth and I absolutely love it. I bought this on a whim, I've never heard of this product before and I didn't think that I was going to like it but I absolutely love it. And I got it from Kmart for about $6 and I would definitely repurchase this. So the next thing that I've been loving is an eyeshadow palette. Now I was going to buy one from BH Cosmetics but because it was in American dollars, when it got changed to the Australian dollars found that it was going to cost me too much so I went onto eBay and I found one of the perfect dupes for it. It doesn't have a brand or anything but I've been loving this eyeshadow palette. As I said I got it from eBay for $15 and it was free shipping and all I did was I typed in eyeshadow palettes on eBay and this came up. I'm absolutely loving it because all the colours are very pigmented. There's just a nice variety of different colours on there and I can't wait to start making new makeup looks with this palette. And the last beauty product that I've been loving is a hair care product and a face mask. Now another YouTuber, another YouTuber, Brittany Lee Saunders, this is her own brand and I've absolutely been loving it and I would definitely repurchase any of her products. I've been loving the Naked Hair Citrus hair mask and the Naked Face Clay Mask. They're absolutely amazing products and as I said I would definitely repurchase them. The face mask was off the top of my head I think $17.95 and the hair mask was $16.95 off the top of my head. It's free shipping to anywhere in Australia and they do ship internationally. I will leave a link for, their web, for her website down below so you, you guys can go check out the products. I would 100% definitely recommend these like this hair mask has done wonders for my hair I've never had my hair so soft until I started using this and I would recommend these 110% so the next product is some hair care products and um, I've absolutely been loving the Tresemme Perfectly Undone Shampoo and Conditioner this makes my hair like full of volume and it just gives it texture and it makes it soft and it smells amazing. These are only new from Tresemme and I would definitely repurchase them again. I've tried pretty much every single Tresemme hair product and this is my favourite by far and I would definitely repurchase them. The next thing I've been loving is toothpaste and I used to be very slack in brushing my teeth and um, I wanted to give this a try and I know that a lot of other YouTubers may use this and I know that Lauren Curtis did an ad campaign for this and it's the Colgate Optic White Toothpaste and I got the Colgate Optic White Toothbrush. I love it. 
it does make my teeth a lot whiter and the only thing that I would say is it's quite expensive. I mean for 110 mils of toothpaste it is quite expensive. I got mine on special for six dollars but normally this one is about ten dollars or something and it can be a little bit pricey for people that want to try it but there are some really good dupes for it there are some other colgate products that do have the whitening ingredient in it but they don't work as well as this one if you're willing to spend money to try this product to see if it works i would definitely recommend it i would probably repurchase it but I would only repurchase it if it was on special. So the next product that I have been loving is food drink related. Um, I've absolutely been loving making iced coffees lately. I saw Tanya Burr make one in a video and I thought, oh, I'm gonna go try this and I made it and I absolutely fell in love. I've been loving iced coffee so much. I've probably ingested more coffee than I have in my whole entire life this month. And the coffee that I use is the Makona mocha Ken kenya style um i found that this coffee is really smooth and it's not that really strong bitter coffee kind of taste it's really sweet kind of taste all makona coffees are really nice blend um i got this on special for seven dollars and i think these are normally like ten dollars or something i mean ten dollars is worth the amount of coffee that you get in that jar like I just absolutely love it and I will be drinking iced coffee for the rest of my life and especially because it's coming into summer because um, it's going to be too hot to drink hot coffee iced coffees are going to be better to drink than hot coffee the next thing that I've been loving is kind of like a massive craze right now and it's the adult colouring books I suffer with stress, anxiety and depression and I find that colouring in a little bit helps get my mind off things. So I went on to the book depository and I got Millie Marota's Animal Kingdom colouring book. Um, I got this on sale, I think for, I got it for about $15, $15-$16 and I just absolutely love like all the different like patterns and animals. There's one that I've coloured in already and like there's just all different kind of animals and like different kinds of patterns and everything and I absolutely love just taking half an hour out of my day just to colour in a little bit. If you want to buy one and you're struggling to find places to buy one I will leave a link for the book depository in the description box and they do free international shipping and they are just one of the best companies and they've got masses amount of books like every book that you could probably think of they've got on their website and I will probably be going on and buying another one of these when I finish this one but I obviously won't be buying the Animal Kingdom one again I'll be buying a different one so my memory card went corrupt and I lost this section of my file so I now have to record it on my iPhone. The next two items that I've been loving are both books and the first one is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. I've absolutely fallen in love with that book and I tweeted Zoe about it and asked her if she'd ever make it into a movie and she said that it'd be a pretty cool idea if she did. Um, absolutely love it. She's bringing out a second one in October called Girl Online on Tour and I'm so looking forward to reading it. The second book that I've been loving is Connor Franta's A Work in Progress and I've absolutely been loving that book too. It tells Connor's story right from the beginning, how he got to where he is and it's an amazing book and I absolutely love the layout of his book and I would recommend both of those books to anyone that wants a great read. The next thing I've been loving is my favourite TV show and I never thought that I'd get into this TV show show just because it's not my type of show and it's called Sons of Anarchy and um, it's just about a micro motorcycle club and it's a really good TV show. I recommend anyone if you're looking for a TV show to watch that that one is a good one to watch. And the next thing that I've been loving is my favourite movie and it's the uh, Fast and Furious 7. I have the other six here as well and absolutely love the Fast and Furious franchise and 
I reckon it wouldn't be the same without Paul Walker. I've heard a rumour that they might be making number eight and I wouldn't go watch it just because I don't reckon it'd be the same without Paul Walker and that, that movie hits me in the feels every time I watch it. The next thing I want to talk about are my favourite apps that I've been loving this month and the first one is Instagram. I've absolutely been loving Instagram more and more every day this month. I love posting Instagrams and I love seeing other people's Instagrams. I will leave my Instagram across the screen just here so you guys can go check me out on there. I've also been loving Snapchat um, and again I will leave my Snapchat name across the screen here. And the last one that I've been loving is Twitter because I love interacting with people and pretty much almost getting an instant reply off them. So I'll leave my Twitter along the screen here as well so you guys can go check me out on there and don't worry they'll also be in the description box as well. And the last thing that I want to talk about is my favourite YouTubers. The first one that I've been loving is Alright Hey. I absolutely have fallen in love with Alright Hey. His videos make me laugh all the time and he always knows how to put a smile on someone's face. He's actually been an inspiration to me um, and I started my own channel and he was part of the inspiration for me starting my own channel and if All Right Hey was not here I would I wouldn't know what to do with myself. And the second YouTuber I've been loving are the Sacconi Jellies and they're an Irish English like Irish British YouTuber um, family and they do daily vlogs and they legit vlog every single day and they've been doing it for five years. Jonathan is absolutely hilarious and their kids always know how to make me laugh and Anna is just amazing with the tips she gives, the different recipes she gives and showing um, when she does her sport, like her gym, sport, fitness, morning workout. They're a really good group of people and I came across them because of Zoe and if you haven't heard of any of these people, I'll leave their links in the description box below and you guys have to go out, go check them out and subscribe to them because they will make your day 110% better than it already is and yeah, I honestly would not know where I'd be without those two YouTubers because they make my life so much better, they make me laugh all the time and they're just amazing. So guys, that's everything that I've been loving this month. It may not have been as much as I loved in June. I just thought I'd get some things together. If you like this video, then please give it a massive thumbs up as it helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to comment any feedback or video ideas in the comment section below and share this video with your friends so they know what I could, I've been loving and they can go out and try it for themselves. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button and become a part of my weekly Sunday hangout. I promise you won't regret it. I have also left all my social media links for my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and my blog in the down box below so you guys can go check me out on there and give me a follow. Thank you guys so much for coming in and hanging out with me today and until next Sunday keep smiling and have a great week and I will see you guys next Sunday with another hangout. Bye!